Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Love Life on Botchpot.com. And today's episode promises to be really impactful, interesting, and um, it should it will definitely affect you. So today we have Lillian. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Lillian is very interesting, lively, and <laughs> I'm sure today you know why. <laughs> we have Alex um, here as well. Hello. Yeah, yeah. so um, we have a very interesting subject today. And what's the subject? Uh, Keke Vassal. <laughs> <Jiwa. laughs> Would you rather uh, cry in a Jiwa God or, you know, be all loved up in a Keke na Pepe? Yeah, would you rather... That's a question to you too as well. Would you rather cry? So we're starting with that question directly. I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm asking Lily, but anyway, let me Anyways. Lily. So yeah. would you rather... Would you rather... Think about it. Don't be in a hurry. Mm -hmm. So would you rather... Cry, prefer mm -hmm. to cry in a G wagon mm -hmm. or be loved up in a keke. Okay, um, I think in all honesty, yeah. um, nobody wants to suffer. You get, <laughs> <laughs> okay. you get. Uh, I get the, I, I said, I think earlier I was saying something about if. The keke <laughs> is not going to be right here. I don't know if you get some people, they are just very stagnated in a way that they'll be contented in inside their keke. Yeah. So if a guy is in a keke and he's definitely moving to somewhere, I mean, nobody, Rome was not built in a day unless, you know, you were born with a silver spoon. So if you're going to be in a keke and a pepe and you're moving and then it's not, um, it's not something that's supposed to be, this is where we are, this is where we will be. So as long as you're moving to somewhere, mm. I guarantee you that I might be willing to I might be willing move to. with you. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. In that what, what's the percentage of <laughs> we, might? We take serious the might, actually. Mm. Oh, so, no, but serious note, though, I think both people, whether you're in, inside Keke or you're inside G-Wagon, you will definitely cry. Life and relationship is not built. Hey, or it's not, cry, a, it's not a bed of roses. No, no. The frequency so, might be higher. In the, in the in the real sense of things, if I'm yeah. telling myself the truth, yeah. mm -hmm. I would rather, you know, be in the G wagon. Cry laugh <laughs> in a G wagon. <laughs> Don't okay. take my word for it. But I'm being serious. If 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 um, truly truly that you are inside um, Keke na Pepe and you're loving me right, you're taking care of me, and I can see that you're moving towards G wagon, I would build with you. Okay. But so if you're there and you're rigid and you're not going to move anywhere. I would rather stay inside that uh, G wagon, cry small, move my G wagon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that's the that's um, that's understandable. That's understandable actually. But is the idea to be moving towards G wagon? Is that the idea? Must we move? Uh, Must we be moving towards G wagon? But of course, no. Let realistically speaking, you that is walking every day. Are you mm. walking because? You're comfortable with where you are, or you want to sustain where you are. You want to grow, yeah. Unless you're just trying to sustain that three square meal after I'm eating morning, afternoon, night. Okay. What do I care if I buy new clothes? Okay. Do you understand? Okay. So the goal is that you're definitely moving somewhere. You're growing. Even when you're praying to God every morning when you wake up, mm -hmm. you're always always telling God, so I beg. So progress. Daily bread. Yeah. More. Do you understand? We're yeah. praying for more. So definitely the goal is to move. We're not move. stopping. But you know the challenge, right? The uh -huh. challenge is we don't have so much quality ladies right now that are able to identify growth because they are very clouded with that G-Wagon. Like, we don't mean G-Wagon literally, right? Mm -hmm. We don't mean KK it's a metaphor literally. Kind of right? We're just saying so, where, yeah. where things are rosy. So, so, so now you can, you can talk about this maybe because the question is thrown at you. Mm -hmm. But in reality, we have quite a number of people who don't even know how to identify growth. They mm -hmm. don't even know how to identify when a guy is as making prospect. Pro exactly, <laughs> as prospect. Mm -hmm. Their own is... Mm -hmm. In fact, you see here people that will say, I beg, keep prospect on one side face. <laughs> you know, what <laughs> exactly... Who prospect yeah. him? What exactly, you know... So, what you just said is that you're mm -hmm. saying that what is essential for you to be able to ever... Consider. 
Eva, <laughs> that may make me <laughs> that, that I make, might. <laughs> that you might, exactly. So it's different mm-hmm. than might. But, mm-hmm. but, but what you're saying is that you have to see growth. You have mm-hmm. to see progress, right? Mm-hmm. So, but, but the issue is this, and which is true. We have lots of females who, one, they don't even care about that, what you just said. That's mm-hmm. one. Secondly, they are not even able to identify what prospect is or what growth is. So how, how do you think? In a, in a world where um, who prospect help, they fly around. Exactly. <laughs> in a world where, that's a good to put that. In a world where who prospect help, they fly around. How do you really identify that this person, you know, is making progress? Okay, now here's the thing. I think um, generally people, we all have drives. Right. Yeah. So if from, you know, from the person's behavior and, you know, and the things that they say mm-hmm. is one, right? You can already tell when somebody has drive or goals of where they need to be. Okay. And then okay. you will now have to look at the action as well. Because it's one thing, let's even, the way we're even thinking, Kena Pepe, Kena Pepe. There are some guys that, um, we're not saying literally you're going to drive keke. It's like yeah. you're just moving yeah, in the yeah. keke level per se. Yeah. You get. And then there are people that you even tell them to, you know, give it a shot. And they're like, no, if it's not that boom, you know, that bulldozer type of money, they are not even willing to walk yeah. towards it. So now, but there's somebody that understands that, you know, you don't... Over, it's not an it's not an overnight um, stuff or mm. growth, mm. so you have to walk towards it. You can already tell when someone has drive. You can already tell when maybe two of you your goals are aligned. There's something I said to you last year. I said, I feel like maybe when I was in my twenties, oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you that, you that up, yeah. if if you know uh, the idea of building with a man would have been very sweet in the ear. I want mm. to just just yeah. to. Do you think that when you were in your twenties, you thought like this? I, I think experiences have helped <laughs> me too, yeah? But then, I'm just saying that I feel like it would have been easier yeah. to just, ah, a growing guy, me too, I'm growing, two of us now, you know, grow together. You know, it, it would have been easier. But now that I'm in my early thirties, I'll be 33 soon anyways. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So, now that I'm in my early thirties, yeah, I feel like... For me to now want to, you know, be with a guy that is supposedly not, he has not potential already, mm. it's going to be a struggle yeah. because I've already grown. Yeah. Mm. You understand? I don't need someone that will come and start dragging me back to where I'm already coming from. Because yeah. I feel like before I can actually, you know, um, look at somebody and say that this person is going somewhere, it means that the person is, is almost, maybe if I'm, if I'm on nine, or let me say if I'm on eight, he should already be on 10, sort of. So he can pull me up to where he is. Mm. You understand? Rather than trying to drag me back. So if he doesn't have drive and he's probably just really stagnated and he mm. does not want to move, mm. I can already tell. Like mm. you said, maybe when I was in my 20s, I probably would not even understand. But now, when I meet people, like, I'm already looking at you and I'm saying, ah, this one is lagging. Okay. So Do you understand? Let me, let me. So... Me, I can now tell that this keke mm. is not going anywhere. Mm. But then when I now see okay. the G-Wagon and I'm seeing that this G-Wagon is, is moving and I already know what that you, if okay. I enter here now, forget all the cry that people are talking about, you'll be crying inside. Okay. There are some level of, you know, um, things that you can just tell that, okay, this person now is already where I would want to be. Okay. You get where I even want that keke and a pepe person to get to. This person is already there. Do you understand? So if I can easily just enter and then we move together, you know? So I just, it, what, what I'm just trying to say basically is just that how to best tell that yeah. somebody is going somewhere is their drive and then the action that they put to their drive. Yeah, okay. You get me? Yeah, that's, that's valid actually. Mm-hmm. Um, drive and the actions they put to their drives. Okay, Alex. So, so... This thing can never balance except God <laughs> interferes. Because yeah. when the ladies are in their twenties, all they want to do is play around and have fun. Yeah. But the guys are in love; they want to express love. That's right? what you think. When we get to the thirties, is when we want to. We have gotten a lot of heartbreak. We've learned we become players, mm-hmm. and then when we get to that thirty, that's where you now want us to come and potential. <laughs> <laughs> 
what I say. You never, you never. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, this is that you're saying. You're yeah. never serious. Okay. No, no, no. The truth is that this thing you're even saying now that ladies are playing around. I think it's even guys that play around in their twenties. Then when they're now in their thirties, that's when they now want to be serious and get married. Because me personally, mm. I was even telling my friend the other day that we all we already had like God has His plans, and then we also have our plans. So. Personally, how I planned my life was I would get married at maybe 24. You know, by the time I'm 30, I would have finished giving birth to my children. Now that I'm in my 30s, I will not be saying, that's when my lifestyle will now start. Mm -hmm. Do you understand me? Mm -hmm. So it's even guys that wait till maybe when they're 30s, that's when they now feel that they are matured enough to, you know, now think of settling down or being serious. Yeah. These guys that play more when they're in their 20s, Alex, I, I well, disagree I think, with what you said. I think we said. don't even need to even go back and forth on, on that. Yeah. I, I think both females and, and males... They play. They play, actually. <laughs> I think somehow, we usually don't have sense sometimes. Until, <laughs> until <laughs> age starts to set in. Yeah, then yeah, you don't realize, oh boy, time don't go. True. Experience is the best. Yeah. yeah. So there's a scripture mm -hmm. which helps us to actually... You know, that, that gives us this comparison again. Mm -hmm. it, said, it said it's better. Let me read it. Mm -hmm. It said, better is a dry muscle with quietness mm -hmm. than a house full of feasting with strife. Mm -hmm. So apparently even, even the heart of God brought about this comparison too. Mm -hmm. So nobody today really start Keke versus <laughs> So the whole concept started a long time. So we've been in this scenario over and over again, right? Yeah. So better is a dry muscle with quietness than a house full of feasting with strife. Leslie, the same Bible that you're talking about uh, also said that uh, the blessings of God does what? Make it rich and added no sorrow. <laughs> okay. Do don't understand? worry, well, I don't argue with that. <laughs> now let me throw a question. Let me throw a question. Uh -huh. What should we prioritize uh -huh. in making a choice of who to spend life with? What should we prioritize? Should we prioritize the finance, G-Wagon, or should we prioritize the personality, the character? I'll say this before I let Alex, you know, say what he wants to say. Yeah. So this is what Alex, I think. There's, there's this thing, there's this, uh, you know, um, I think a saying I saw somewhere on IG, they said, go to where rich people are and fall in love. Eh? Huh. She'll get me. <laughs> Where you did get. you hear it from? Where I saw it on IG somewhere. Uh, so that's IG. <laughs> so he so said, go, go to IG, where rich know. people are and fall in love. Mm -hmm. You know why I said this? Because I feel like at the end of the day, it boils down to individuals, right? So it's better, you know, like we were saying before, that why can't we have it though? Why are we just attributing being a nice guy with being broke? You understand? And I also told you something. I, I think I'm... Uh, you know, uh, derailing from what I'm saying, but I'll come back. So, but why, why can't we, you know, have it all? Do you understand? Why can't a guy be rich and nice and treat people well, you know, and love on you than the way we were saying that uh, broke guys do that? Why do you always associate broke guys with, uh, sorry, uh, people, guys nice with people with, nice being, people broke. with being broke? Yeah. You understand? Why can't he go? No. Why can't we have it all? Yeah. And then at the end of the day, I was just saying that sometimes we cannot categorically have it all, right? Because I mean, some people, their true characters show when they have money, right? Mm -hmm. So when they now have money, you now start to see those things that you think that, you know, uh, you, you were probably overlooking because when you are broke, you, you are humble. It's the truth. When you are broke, you tend to be more humble. So, but what I'm just saying is that Individual is the ball game at the end of the day. A good Are person. Are you really sure it's individual? Honestly, but I think, I think it's, it's I an think, individual. I think when it comes to that... answering the question, we tend to answer the question with the right answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in reality, are we really sure is the person that means a lot? Like is we're living the in person, very, for you, honestly, for yeah, you. that's how I feel. You get is the person because someone that is generous is generous. Somebody that is kind is kind. Do you understand? Whether he's rich or broke. If a guy is generous, he's a generous guy. He would, I don't know, if someone genuinely loves you, they will share their last fadden with you. Do you understand? Like when, what we were saying with Alex, a guy, a guy that is, is rich can take you to, you know, the luxury lifestyles, the classy um, restaurant and whatnot. Yeah. A guy that is broke, obviously cannot afford those things, but he can decide to cook for you. Do you understand? 
So that's still like treating you to the things that he can afford. So that's what I'm saying that it's an individual. Do you understand? So there are some times that you even take that money away from the broke guy, from the rich guy and make him broke. And then you will not see that. He's not even all that after all. It's just his money that makes him. Mm -hmm. So that's how you can tell that. It's an individual. Just get to meet people, you know, people that resonate with you, people that your, your goals and aspirations align with, whether broke or rich. And okay. I think I, it's I, I think I think that's a very fine thing. Mm -hmm. Get to meet people, people that your goals align, mm -hmm. people that your aspiration connect with. Mm -hmm. But we're having a very big um, barrier in, in, in this statement coming to pass. Mm -hmm. Because right now, which is why we're having a discussion. Mm -hmm. Because right now, people don't get to really meet people. Mm -hmm. People get to meet what people have. Or what people found. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you. Many people don't, don't end up meeting people. So there's no heart-to-heart -heart connection. There's no life-to-life -life connection. There is maybe life to what life has. <laughs> yeah. Right? And or just like that. So that's what we're having. So we don't have real connection any longer. And that's why, you know, we're having this conversation. But let me hear you, Alex. Weigh in on it. What do you think we should prioritize in, you know... Picking somebody that you spend your mm. life with. Realistically, but maybe from a man's perspective. Too. From a from a man's perspective, I don't think so. A man, if you ask, let's maybe you should start asking the question of if I would prefer to be in a G wagon or. What would you? <laughs> yeah, but we can actually ask because right, me, you, they've been you, asking me. Would all you prefer to cry in a G wagon? So yeah. Would you, a, a, would you rather side, a, yeah, a babe a, that so is rich? Would you, would you rather, yeah, exactly. A rich babe or a struggling and trying yeah. to make it in life, girl? Yeah, I like <laughs> that question, yes. Okay, so from a man's perspective, mm -hmm. we've been brought up with the idea of being responsible. Mm -hmm. It's not a new thing, uh -huh. right? And looking at the idea of a girl disrespecting me over the idea of a girl that is coming up, I'll definitely pick the girl that's coming here because I know that I can change her life. Wow. By my impact. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yes, is that that's, that's some type of that's, way to put it. Yes, that's the level of confidence I've grown mm -hmm. from over time, right? Yeah. Being responsible. So I would never even consider it. It is not something that I would think of. It's not even a choice. If you put, I will not even look at that one that is rich and disrespectful. I will not even look at it. Maybe there will be other guys that will mm. consider that. But I think that if you have had this mentality of responsibility from the get-go mm -hmm. as a guy, it's not a new thing for you to take care of a woman. Yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't matter if she's rich or broke. Yeah. After all, they used to say their money is their money, even when they're rich. <laughs> <laughs> so how about all those ladies? You've not heard about all those rich ladies that used to take care of their men. No, no, no. The thing is this, right? Now we have, we have many irresponsible men. Uh, or maybe that's not the word. Now we have men that are... That are like the way we are seeing females are. Yes, <laughs> we're, exactly. Right. So mm. we're not we're not saying that's that how all females are. But but right now we have men like that that are chasing the money, chasing the money. But in reality, personally, yeah, Leslie, let's hear what's your personally. Uh, I, if I say a rich person with good character, mm -hmm. very rich lady with good character, mm -hmm. I don't know why, and I'm not saying I'm right. But a very rich lady with good character. And I'm good okay character. with good character. I'm not saying with good He's character. He's not even saying that. I'm raising it. Mm -hmm. okay. With good character. And a very nice lady and that is not with very good character as well, mm -hmm. but is not that rich. Naturally, I might switch to her. Why? Why? Because I think I'm more comfortable to... I like to be responsible about my lady. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like that I should be able to... My, right. What I'm bringing mm -hmm. has impact. There's a, there's, a, there's a level you supply. You, I, we've now talked about how finance and too much money, not every lady has the head for it mm. yet. This one now that you, this no, angle that you want to go to No, now. I don't want to go there, but I'm just <laughs> Please, saying. Tables are everybody. going to be falling no, no, left, right, and center. But it's true. Not every lady can actually handle it and still be sane and be all right and be respectful and honor you, mm -hmm. right? That's that's one of the Leslie. issues that we're, that we're having. So I <laughs> rather go with the, the one that mm -hmm. you know I can still have yeah. financial influence. Every woman should take, have. Money and I'm not of her saying own. I'm not even saying I will stick to her remaining like that. Mm -hmm. That's for her to grow. Yeah, and for her to expand. 
But the truth is, at least we we should have it. Will she make her own money at all? Of course not. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm interested for her to grow. Uh, I'm interested even for so the So she one. will not grow and get to that the level of that other person. That's what you're saying. No, she will. You're fine with her no, growing no, no, as long as she's you don't get you you're don't still get. able I'm to saying provide from the for beginning, her. Beginning, right? Uh, from the beginning. From the get I'm saying where I would tilt towards. Okay. Most likely. Okay. I'll tilt towards someone that I can have. So I can be able to impact her. Eventually, right? she grows. Eventually, and then she, she now becomes no, as that, rich as the other person. And then what you're running away from still finds you inside your house. No, but I will deal with it then. <laughs> the question was, where will I tilt towards? Uh, I think, anyways, you've answered it. That's where I'll, I'll, I'll go towards first. So uh-huh. we are not like that situation where we're craving G Wagon, we're craving mm. influence. The average man does not really care about um, all of that be rich yeah. you know get to the point you know get to this height first we really don't care about that but there are people that maybe they would rather you know tell the last daughter and all of that yeah. because and I, sorry to cut you his wealth sorry to cut you i think i think another thing that is affecting us is that wealth can be built i think sometimes with ladies or some of us we forget about it somehow the environment we live in i don't know whether it's the world whether it's the economy but something, there's fear of making money. There's fear of getting wealthy. But we need to remember that we can truly build wealth together. Mm-hmm. So I think you've already made a very key statement earlier, which you said, his goal, does he have drive? Does he have a pursuit? Exactly. And those are very essential. Things. And does he align with yours? And does he align with yours? And from there, I think you can actually build whatever you want to build. Imagine two people that have a force. <laughs> yes. You know? Yes. So, so it shouldn't really be about... That's what I'm saying. It shouldn't really be about um, he doesn't have this. <laughs> He's not yet there. It shouldn't be that. The, the, the main, I think what you said is just key. Does he have drive? Do that, does our vision align? Exactly. Where we are going? Does are we going mean, the same direction? Are we direction? going in the same direction? Because right? there are some people that want to make overnight wealth. Exactly. Are you part of that uh, train? Exactly. Um, but now, you know, we have girls these days that would rather go for... Quick now, quick money. Quick money <laughs> over all this, you know, content that I we're think talking about. this and era too is also part of the reasons because we're in a, in a world where social media, computer age, yeah. people are seeing a lot of things and they think that's how it is in reality. Yeah. You know, there are some people that they will film something and tell you this is social media, right? And then this is reality. So the minute people start, you know, removing one on one side, this is my reality and this is what I want to put out there. Mm-hmm. They realize that what is on social media is not 100% what is going on behind closed doors. Yeah, that's true. It's to help people to, you know, do better. See so, themselves better. So, Alex, mm-hmm. what was that question that, you know, we're having a discussion <laughs> earlier, actually, and, and, and Alex he said was, something. was trying to trade questions. So, what was that? Yeah, so, I was asking that, would there really be peace <laughs> in a house where <laughs> now only one dry muscle is? <laughs> For real, though, yeah, let's yeah, bring yeah. it out to reality. Since yeah. we are trying to talk about reality mm-hmm. now, yeah, yeah. is there peace in the house? So as a father, you have three children. It's one dry muscle you want to share with mm. them. Then, mm. Will you have peace of mind? Yeah, I, I think, for example, the scripture we're weighing in on, right, mm-hmm. is not necessarily trying to, to say poverty or lack is mm. good. Yeah. The emphasis is not on that is good. The okay. emphasis is on two things. One is strife, no peace, and the other one is on peace. Mm-hmm. That means it's speaking about the content of the person. So, so he's trying to say that regardless mm-hmm. of what the situation is, if you have to pick, if you have between to pick. A, a between wealth and peace of mind, mm-hmm. you, know, you should go for peace. Yeah, he's, he's trying to tell you how important mm. peace it is. is. To have peace, right? <laughs> no. That you have to go to the extent of lack and abundance to so it, communicate. It, it, that is point. that communication Let talking me. to Lillian? Because <laughs> now it seems obvious Lillian does not agree with that. Alex, part of the let Bible. me tell you the honest you truth is that Bible. what I'm even saying, like I said, that's why I now told you that it's the same Bible that said the blessings of God make it rich and added no sorrow. The honest truth is that even when you're happy with whomever you're with and people don't have resources to take care of your day-to-day life. Problem goes starts. It's there's no way that peace will be right. where you don't have food to luck. eat. Children are crying in your ear. No. You cannot provide for them. Ah ah, basketballs will enter. I agree. It's as simple as. I ABC. agree with that. But but, but now where there's money, yeah, you have some level of peace. Forget though. Let's even leave all those disrespect and you the rest. You think so? 
Yes, because it depends on you're able to you're able to provide you know the things that you need for your day to day activities. Now, what you're not talking about now, there's peace. What you're not you cannot talk about is probably happiness. Do you understand? So you happiness mean... in the sense of ah, I I I want I want more. This man is always disrespecting me. Do you, you get me? But there are some things that money can fill in. I'm trying. I'm not trying to be <laughs> very materialistic here. Don't but, get me wrong. But, no, but the point I'm trying to say is that. Right now, I'm not feeling this house, but I can afford to travel to Mauritius and go and breathe. You get? <laughs> I'm going to get some level of peace. When I come back to the house, uh, we'll start from where we stopped. Okay. So let's even okay. just pray that, pray, brethren, that you have a man and a kini that all of you have small money to take care of your day-to-day -day lifestyle. Okay. You know? So, There'll so, be happiness so and peace. Think about this as we prepare, as we try to wrap, wrap up. up. Think mm -hmm. about this. This. Think about moments when you may have tear, mm -hmm. where you may have experienced genuine love, mm -hmm. respect, mm -hmm. admiration from others, mm -hmm. regardless of their financial status. Think about it. Keyword. How did those experiences shape your perspective on what truly matters in life? Okay. Let's start with Alex this time. But even though you, you know, let me just say, let me just <laughs> I think we should even leave it for the audience Did to you, munch on that. Yeah, they should. But but mm -hmm. but but I, I just want us to weigh in on that as well. Did you get the? No, can you? So <laughs> I said, as I think about moments when you've 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 had, ex, you've experienced genuine love, mm -hmm. respect, admiration from others, away from wealth. Yes, regardless of the financial status. Now, because because what was what's happening these days is that there's a very big barrier. Financial status is causing lots of barriers that yeah. people are not able to enjoy people, mm -hmm. right? So think about such moments, right? How do those experiences shape your perspective on what really matters? Oh, yeah. Um, if I think about it, I, I think that people, people looking down on you when you are not financially capable mm -hmm. helps build drive. Like, you will be driven to get yourself to a standard, right? Okay. That's the advantage of some of those. That's if you take it in the right way, mm. right? And also, it makes you it makes you lose that part of you gradually that can connect also with people that um, that see you for who you are and are able to tell you truth. Okay. So, because in this society where wealth is valued over Person over what you are doing. So far, you're well. If you are doing the wrong thing, people can adjust. So, what what that does is that you gradually lose people who can tell you that even with your wealth, they can face you and say you're doing the wrong thing. Maybe before you are fine, you're open-minded, but people get used to things. So if you start treating me like okay, everything I do is fine because I'm I have money, mm. I start to adjust to that, right? So you start to lose touch. For me, do you have do you have sorry do you have relationships where mm. money is nothing, but you guys are just really yes nice. I do, do but not I think I do for both um, gender really money is not really a but it's just a friendship thing mm. right pure friendship money is not really a barrier whether you have money yeah I do have. And, what, what, and it's so, a very... So why is it that the tension tends to rise when that relationship is now switching to marriage? Yes, it's because everybody starts thinking about themselves. So let me tell you how it happens. The woman starts thinking about, can you take care of me yeah. and my children? Yeah. The man starts thinking about, how do I do it? Yeah. Right? And that's where the tensions basically come from. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Lillian, so how... That same question to you. How has it affected you with what truly matters in life? Me personally, I just think that, um, like you said, do we have relationships where, you know, money is not... I have that, I have that um, with, you know, the, there are relationships that you... People that you meet, you know, from the beginning of time when all of us broke. Mm. We don't know anything. We're mm. not thinking about money, mm. right? So those relationships, they've, they've actually, you know, um, thrived. And deep are still going, whether money day, even now, say they are your backup plan, you mm. know, in moments when you're shaky and you don't even have money. Yeah. Do you understand? So the relationship has grown past 
you know, the where nobody's disrespecting anybody. You people are just, you know, loving each other on a mutual ground. And then that's why most times you see people end up marrying their high school sweethearts, yes, yeah. people they've known yeah, since yeah. those days. Because in that moment, they knew those people when they were nothing. Yeah. You understand? You people formed some sort of bond from when yeah, yeah. you guys were both, you mm-hmm. know, nobody. So, yeah, so, I think those relationships actually... So I think those moments really helped to establish real bonds. Exactly. Where there was no big thing as finance. Exactly. It. So we're living in times where now, this fi- I don't even know where it started from. You know, where this whole money thing is going so high. It's, 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 it's not becoming a, a serious thing now. Genuine connection is not being able to be established like the way it was before. However, so we we we, we hope that somehow we don't even know whether we arrived or we helped anybody. Yet. <laughs> I will confuse you <laughs> I will more. Confuse you more. <laughs> but the whole idea is that we needed to just weigh in on it so that you can think about it as well. You know, think about it. What would be your preference? Are you going for the right values? Are you making the right choices? What's your basis? What's forming your decision in, you know, in that relationship that you have? And um, that's what we're just trying to do. So you to weigh in on it. This was not to pass a message or to teach you how to run yeah, it. Yeah, rubbing But minds. this was just to rub minds and get you to also, you know, run it through your head space as well. Thank you guys so much for, for joining in the conversation today. Please put in your comments there. Maybe we might need to revisit this subject again. <laughs> Maybe through your comments yeah. as well, but put in your comments, share your thoughts, you know, and um, we'll see where we we'll go from there. Yeah. Don't Have forget you. to subscribe. Yeah, exactly. Like, like comment, like, share. And share. Yeah. Yeah. Any last word, Alex? No. Just. <laughs> Thank you for having us. You are gone. Be happy. <laughs> Enjoy. Bye. See you in the next episode.